Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. But before going forward, if you've not liked the video, please like it. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. So without any further ado, let's get started. Problem is partition labels. We are given a string and we want to partition that string into as many parts as possible so that each letter appears in at most one part. So for example, if in there is a string right there is a string and we need to divide that string into multiple parts multiple parts and if in one part we have let's say letter a so in so in another parts like in any other part a letter cannot be there so a single letter should be only should be only in one part okay so if a is in the first part then a cannot be in any other parts note that partition is done so that after concatenating all the parts in order, the resulting string should be S, which was given initially. So we cannot like move here and there, letters we cannot move here and there obviously. Okay, so we need to uh, partition the string. Return the list of integers representing the size of these parts. Okay, let's see this test case. So here I have written this test case. This is the test case. I have done the indexing. So here first part, we have to divide this. See, what, what are the observations from the problem? What are the observations? We have to divide the string. We have to partition the string in as many parts as possible. Okay. Divide the string. We have to divide the string in as many parts as possible. In maximum parts. So see, if this is a string... We have to increase the number of parts, right? We have to have as many parts as possible. Obviously, then one part should be as small as possible. It should be as small as possible so that if this part is small, then there will be more letters for the other parts. So then there could be more parts. If one part is only very big, then obviously there will be less letters for the other parts. Hence, the number of parts may get reduced. So one thing which we have to keep in mind is that Every part should be as small as possible. Okay. This is one thing. So, other observation which we can get from the problem is that, uh, we, th that each letter should appear at most once. So, every letter, one other observation is that every letter, each letter should occur should occur only in one part in one part okay for example what will be the parts here one part will be this one from here till here a till a this will be one part okay second part will be this one from d till this e okay and third part will be this one from this h till j so these will be the three parts which are possible now how these parts are valid see here if f is there in this part in this part f is there so f is not in this one also and f is not in this one also okay if a is here in the first part then a is not here also and a is not here also fine so this is valid so first part is this one second is this and third is this so here this is the first second and third part and in the output we have to return the lengths of these parts length so this has length 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 there are 9 letters here it has uh, 4 7 7 letters and then there are 8 letters in this one 8 7 and 9 so output will be 9, 7 and 8. So it should be the length of the parts. Okay. I hope you understood this uh, uh, like the problem. You have understood the problem. Now let's see how we can approach it. Okay. So see guys. One observation which we can get is this. That C. Over here if A C. Like if A is the first letter now how long how long can this partition go it will go till the last occurrence of a because a can only be 
a can only be in one part right so if a is in this part in this first part then last occurrence of a till here this should be at least the first part because a can only be in first part okay similarly uh, if b is here if we are taking this b letter then the last occurrence of b this is so till here at least till here the first part will be but since a is here so till here the first part will be similarly over here if e is here so last occurrence of e is here meaning at least till here the second part will be because e is in the second part so this e cannot go in third part it should be in second part only so that's why this will be the second part till the last till the see till the last occurrence of e so if you now if you think right we need to know the last occurrence of every letter okay so for that to show the last occurrence of each letter we'll be using a hash map or an unordered map okay we'll be using a hash map let's see how we can do it so i'm erasing this everything i'm erasing i'm just keeping the indexes okay so see just do one thing uh for this test case let's create a hash map and for each letter we'll be storing the last index of occurrence of that letter so this is the hash map this is the hash map first of all we'll start traversing from the we'll start traversing the string so here a will be there so a a's last uh, we'll go a right now a is index is 0 so here this is the letter and value is the index okay then we have we'll go to b so b's index will store as 1 then we'll go to a again so a's index will now change to 2 now again we go to b b's index will change to 3 so c then c's index will be 4 then we'll go to again b so b's index is now 5 okay then a a's index will change to 6 then c c's index will change to 7 and then again there is a so a's index will be 8 so c a's last index is 8 similarly for d also we'll be doing d's will be e oh, sorry d's will be 9 then it will be e e's will be 10 then f f's will be 11 then e is there e's will be 12 oh, sorry here it will change to 12 and then g is 13 so g is not there in the map we'll add it at 13 index then it will be d again so d is will be 14 get updated and e is will be 15 so e is will be 15 then h h will be 16 similarly see i is will be 17 so i is last occurrence is here so i'm writing that only 22 and uh, uh, then j will be there so i am writing here j will be what 18 and uh, i is i is 22 okay so here if it's not visible h is 16 and then k we have k is 20 okay and l is 21 so this is all the last occurrences of each letter fine so we have found out the last occurrence of each letter after that what we will do we have to have the parts right we have to have the parts so for that we'll be taking three variables one will be previous the previous like previous will be storing the starting of the part starting index so this previous will be starting index of a part whatever part is this previous variable will be storing the starting index then we'll have the max i this max i will be the ending index ending index of the part and answer vector we will be having answer vector or array list this will be storing the lengths of these so this all the lengths of the parts this will be storing so previous is the starting index and uh, max i is the ending index of a part okay so what i am doing is initially we will be giving um uh, see initially value will give previous as minus 1 max i as let's give it as 
okay so now what we will do we will traverse this here so see what is a a's last index is what 8 right so max i max i will be what max i will be max of whatever the current max i is comma the last occurrence let's say this is ma let's take this is ma mp map so last occurrence of the letter whatever letter we are at s of i okay so max i is max of 0 comma map of s of i s of i is what a a is s of i this is a string so a's last index is what 8 so 8 will be here so max i will be 8 meaning at least at least till here first part will be why why it will be because a can be in one part only and if a is occurring till here like its last index is this one so this should be in the first part because a cannot be in any other parts as in the question it's mentioned that a letter can be only in one part okay so again similarly we'll go to b what is b's last index it's 5 okay so max i right now it's 8 only so it's not it not get updated then again we'll go to a a's last index is what again 8 max i is 8 only so no no need to update then b again same thing 5 no need to update c c is 7 but max i is already 8 no need to update again b again a c and again c now here we go to a now here we go to a now it's very important thing guys see now it's la right now i is here right i is here mac a's last index is what 8 and i is equal to 8 so when your max i max i is equal equal to i meaning this is the last occurrence of any letter in the part so at max this could be the part so this is your first part that is when if your max i is equal to i then what you will do you will store this here is your previous right previous is your minus one so you will calculate the length and you will store it in answer if this is the case okay let me show you the code also you will better understand see first of all we have taken a map java code will be in the description and python code also so what we are doing is we have taken this uh, here we have taken this map and we are storing these letters okay uh, and we are just storing the last index so this is for the last index then we are taking these three uh, variables and uh, then here we are storing max i is equal to max i and last index this thing we are doing if they are equal then we calculate the length that is max i minus previous so max i is what 8 minus previous is minus 1 so 8 plus 1 is 9 so 9 is stored in answer okay 9 is stored in answer and after that previous becomes the max i becomes previous so now our previous will be equal to max i which is 8 and, the, and then again we will continue so this is our first part okay now let's go further now let me change this thing so here now i will come here at d so d's last index is what last d's last index is 14 so max will be max i will be max of max i currently it's 8 comma uh, last index of letter s of i which is d so it's 14 so obviously 14 will be the max i now so max i will get updated in 14 so at least till here it will be the second part at least it could be ahead also but at least as of now it will be till here ending is 14 index then we'll go here e is is what 15 now see it will get updated so max i will be what max of currently max i is 14 comma mp s of i mp s of i is what e mp of e is what 15 
so now 14 what is maximum 14 15 15 so now max i is 15 so at least till here it will be the second half so this work will change this is your 14 and this is oops this is your 14 and this is your 15 okay so now we'll go ahead i will go here at f what's last index of f 11 it's not greater than max of i no need to change e then uh, again go g g is also 13 no need then d e so now c now e's last index is what 15 which is equal equal to i that is max of i is equal equal to i so we'll go in this condition we'll calculate the length what's length max i is what 15 minus previous is what 8 so this will be 7 so 7 will be added in the answer array okay so 7 is on added in the answer array now what will happen max i will become previous so this is now the starting of the this is the starting of the next partition so we are taking like previous is one index before the starting of the uh, partition right so previous is one index before the starting of partition so here pre previous will now become 15 and uh, this will go ahead so i will come here at h max i h is what h is 16 max i will get updated it will become 16 and then i so similarly i j i will update max i to 22 then j will be 18 no need to update h k i again and j so j i uh, by mistakenly i have written in 18 it's 23 here so 23 will be the last index and uh, till here this will be the third partition so 23 minus the previous is 15 so this will give us 8 so 8 will be added in the answer array so this is how this approach is working i hope you understood this uh, and the code let me know in the comments if you have any doubt time complexity is o of n where n is the size of the string okay so time complexity is o of n and space is also o of n because we are storing these in the hash map so if you found the video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel and i'll see in the next video